What's up guys, it's Giovanni, and I'm today reviewing the ATD-1 by Attitude Supplies. This bag has been out for a couple years, uh, but what the guys at uh, Attitude Supply do is uh, they only have a short production run. So I believe this one is from last year's production run, and they're going to have another one coming up soon that's already in pre-order. And not only just the Attitude uh, or the ATD-1, but also a few different um, accessories, a sling, um, some uh, some packing cubes, all sorts of stuff that uh, I think is Michelle, <laughs> if I hopefully I got the, the pronunciation correct, so Michelle Fasano um, is uh, de designing and, and building out these uh, these awesome bags. But I didn't want to talk about the ATD one. And this is a bag that I've had for about a year now. And I have a love hate relationship with this bag. And why is that? It's because this bag is a utilitarian Swiss army knife that has so much potential, but I don't even know if I need that potential or what I'm sacrificing to be able to use the potential, but we'll get into all of that. I'll, I'll show you some of the things that, that I really like about this bag. I'll talk about the things that I don't like about this bag and what were some of the, what, what are some of the struggles that I've had uh, using this bag? So let's just get, get into it. So this bag, uh, 500D Cordura, uh, has huge Evergoods design inspiration. The material feels the same. Just it's, it's very durable, strong material all over the place. Um, you have some plastic buckles on the outside, which, you know, cost savings and also to keep it a little bit lighter than let's say some metallic buckles or fidlocks or even Cobra buckles. But um, in the front, you got this flat face. You have a vertical zip with a nice front pocket. And this front pocket is quite nice because it's a nice vertical pocket, but then you also have uh, quite a bit of organization here. You have a kind of like a little pocket here, a little pocket down here. And then I don't know if you can see it, but then you have some things for like little pens or whatever, and then um, a key leash. But you guys know I hate key leashes, so who cares? But yeah, really nice front pocket. You can put documents in here, just a lot of stuff. And it, you know, it has quite a bit of, of space too. So excellent implementation of that front pocket. Also, you'll notice that there are two water bottle pockets, one here, one here. And we'll go over some of the things that are a little weird about how these water bottle pockets are set up, but you can actually see it right off the bat that there's straps that go into the water bottle pocket. So we'll talk about that in a second. So uh, the front the side and then the back, back is really nice and comfortable. Um, I know the first ATD one had a kind of flimsy frame sheet this frame sheet is actually, I believe, I mean, it's it's not like super stiff, but it's it's a pretty pretty good stiffness there. <laughs> so uh, nice padded shoulders, shoulder straps. It's not as thick as like let's say your Goruk GR1 or anything like that. Um, it's not as thick, but nice padding. I haven't had any issues. I haven't felt like that I really needed something. Uh, as robust as let's say like a GR1. I wasn't rucking around in, in, with this pack. Um, you have basic sternum strap with a, a plastic buckle, very easy, but it, it also can be changed uh, to all this different webbing slots. But again, nice back panel, not huge with air channels. Um, so you will get a, a bit of a sweaty back. I know I did. Um, also at the top, you have load lifters as well. Uh, which are really nice and then you have the grab handle here uh, which is okay and then you have a pass-through for a hip strap um, which i guess you can use or you can use the one that's kind of built in which is very small um, i honestly i would have preferred that they not include this hip strap and actually had a removable hip strap that was a little bit more robust so that's the outside of the bag. I mean, it's not, it's not, a, you know, it's not crazy complicated, but let's go into some of the things that I like about the outside and some of the things that I don't like about the outside. I like that this is not, not a lot of branding. Even the attitude supply logo here is, is black on black. You could barely tell that it's there. Um, I like that this um, comes down. Oh, which by the way, <laughs> before I forget, this is a roll top bag. So when you unlatch it, 
it's a roll top. So that's something that we could talk about in a second. So uh, nice, it's you know clean from, from this perspective of it. Um, oh, here you also you have webbing too. If you wanna put some, some lights or you wanna cinch something on here, that's, that's something um, that you can use as well. Uh, it's very comfortable, like I said, back panel really good, distributes weight fine. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about some of the things that I don't like. Oh boy. Okay, this thing has straps everywhere, which is one of the reasons why I've had a love-hate relationship with it. It's because sometimes I get a little OCD when it comes to my bags. I like my bags to be like nice and, and sleek, have great silhouettes, and that is damn near impossible with this bag. So this bag, it's, it's you're, you're gonna have to do one of two things. Either you're gonna be super OCD about the straps and you're going to make sure that they're all tied up with these Velcro ties. I actually went ahead and bought some Tom Bim uh, strap keepers. So you're either gonna be super OCD, making sure everything is like nice and pretty, or guys, just let it all hang out. And that's essentially what I, I wanted. To, I ended up doing because I didn't want to allow this OCD-ness of mine to uh, inhibit me using this bag because every time I thought about using it, man, I got like anxiety. I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to like, every time I, 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 uh, I cinch something down, I'm gonna have to change things around. And then when I loosen it up, I'm gonna have to change that. But now aside from this hip strap, I, for the most part, I just let the straps hang. Um, so you might want to keep that into consideration as you're using this. But yeah, there's straps everywhere. So this top side straps, straps down, then you have the straps from the roll top that gets strapped down. Then you have this strap here that straps down the bottom portion. Uh, and then you have like these hip straps, then you have the sternum strap, and then you have these straps for the, li the uh, lift, um, load lifters, <laughs> straps everywhere. And that's one of the things that, I, that if I've had a hard time getting behind. So if you're okay with just accepting that this bag is going to be strappy as hell and that you're gonna have straps dangling around, go for it. If you're okay with the upkeep of making sure this thing always looks prim and proper, then go for it as well. But this is a super utilitarian bag and I'll tell you why. Right now I have a couple sweaters in here but this thing goes from 20 liters to I think like 54 liters. That's crazy, that's a huge variance. So 20 liters EDC, everyday carry to 54, we're talking like duffel bag size, travel bag size, huge. So it's super utilitarian. So I, you can understand why there's so much strappage going on because it needs, if you're not using all of it, then you have to strap it down, but then you have to loosen it up when you're when you're packing out. So it's utilitarian, great design, very durable design. Um, you also have two-way access. So let's kind of get into, into the insides of it. Huh? So you have this roll top, which is gigantic, huge. So you can see where that 54 liters of space comes into. There is a lot of space in here, a ton of space. So what I'm gonna do is right now, you guys already saw it kind of packed out. I'm gonna take out the sweater and stuff so you can see it kind of shrunk down and we can kind of get into the inside of it. So you can see it shrinks down quite a bit. You know, if you if you latch it, then you, you can make this easily an EDC bag. But when she, this is all you're going to use for your EDC bag, you have all this material that's going to waste that you're not really using. But let's dive in. So you have this huge main compartment, huge main compartment that you could just, just <laughs> yeah. it's, it's big, big, large uh, main compartment. But the thing is, there's not much going on in there except for that. It's just a huge cavity, but you can also get into the bag from the back. So here you have this laptop sleeve, which is kind of loose. It's a little loosey-goosey, but I, I, had, I didn't have any issues with it uh, and using it in, for work or for EDC or even travel. Uh, then I also put uh, papers here, or you could put like a tablet or something like that. But essentially you got all this space in here and the lining is nice, nice, lining good color but man it's 
And then as you're, one of the things that I noticed is as you were packing it out, when I was, as I was packing it out, um, I would put the packing cube in here and I would have to like make sure of how much space I had left. So yeah, um, so great, great. It's a great bag. And, he, and here's the issues that I've had with it. The straps are everywhere. And for me, my OCD is kind of got, got in the way. This thing doesn't have a lot of form to it. It's essentially a giant ball of cloth that's attached to a frame sheet. And that's really what it is. I mean, look, look at this thing. It's just, it's just material all over the place. So it's a giant ball of cloth without a lot of form to it. Uh, the roll top is super deep. Um, so if you're, if you have to get into this bag, then you have to like, roll it up and it's like but even though they say that you should roll it towards you so it's towards the strap so you have to roll it backwards and that just takes a while so i normally for the most part would wouldn't use the roll top i would uh, always go in through the back panel uh, where the laptop is so what i would do is whenever i'd roll this up I would bring this in behind this strap and then connect it and then I would cinch this down to kind of give it a, a cleaner a cleaner look. So the issue that I've had uh, with the bag is of course the strappiness and that sometimes it just doesn't look great. And I, I, I really want to love this bag because to me, this, could, this bag could be my everything. This bag could be my EDC bag. It could be my travel bag. I, I love the potential that I could be anywhere. I could be out traveling in Europe. I, I'm, out on, I'm out in the town, I'm walking around. And all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I wanna buy some groceries. So when I get back to my Airbnb, I could cook a nice dinner and I could just unfurl the roll top and make it work. But the idea of maybe going to a nice restaurant with this bag, for me as a non-starter, uh, to go into like a nice museum or something, I, I, I would feel a little off uh, wearing this bag because of how strappy it is. It's very utilitarian. I mean, and that, that's really what I want to focus on is that this is a utilitarian bag. It has a ton of utility. It doesn't do any one thing particularly well, but it does a lot of things pretty good. So if that's good for you, awesome. Then, then, then go for it. Like if you don't mind the, the aesthetics of it, the strappiness of it, this is an awesome bag. Look guys, since I bought this, since I, I, I bought this bag with my own money, since I bought this bag, I have received and sold at least 15 other bags, but I've kept this one around. And it's because it's just so utilitarian focused. It, it could just do so much in a pinch. So like, I, I sometimes think that if I were ever in like an emergency situation, they say, hey, Giovanni, you got 10 minutes to leave your house. Yeah, I got a bug out bag. But if I have time to grab another bag, like a just in case bag, you know what? I might, I'll probably just grab this one because it does so much and it does a lot of things pretty good, but nothing great. Um, so let, let me kind of go over some of the things that I was talking about just to kind of rattle off a summary. Things that I like. I like that it's versatile, for sure. I like that the materials are super high-end. They're durable, at least the fabrics of it, the fabrics on the outside and the inside. I'm not a huge fan of the plasticky bu buckles, you know, whatever, it's fine. I like that it has two water bottle pockets. I like that it has multiple entry points. I like that I could cinch it down. I like that it has a handle in the bottom and a handle at the top. I like that the back panel is comfortable, that it has load lifters. I like that the straps are, are, are comfortable and, and pretty beefy. Great stuff. I mean, it's, it's a great bag. Things that I don't like. I don't like the straps everywhere. I don't like that the strap, one of the straps is coming out of the water bottle pocket. So if I have this cinched down and I have kind of a big uh, bottle, it's gonna get kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it, it, doesn't, it's not smooth going in or out because of this being there. Uh, the other things I don't like is that it's a big ball of cloth. There's, there's real 
there's no real form to it. Um, the roll top is super deep, and so unless you're using it often, I would probably just go in through the through the back panel. And really, you can't be OCD about this bag. This bag isn't isn't meant for you to keep everything prim and prim and proper. I mean, you could if you want to, but um, it's not it's not great for for that. So one of the reasons that's that's why I've I've had such an issue with this bag. But if you need something that will be a good EDC bag that you don't require it to be super fancy or anything like that, this will do it for you. If you need a travel bag that isn't going to be like the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's going to be pretty comfortable, this is good. If you need to travel, this is this is good. I've, I've been to places where I, I took packing cubes worth of clothes. I took my Xbox with the adapter, like with, with the cords, the controllers, everything in here, no problem. So it's good for, for every, like it's, it's good for everything. Uh, but it is a, it's just, you know, jack of all trades, but master of none um, sort of thing. I, I really do like this bag and I have been at the point of wanting to sell it so many times because I have other bags that do the, to do what it, supposed to do much better like i have edc bags that are awesome i have travel bags that are awesome but just knowing that in a pinch i can just grab this and it's going to do everything pretty good i keep it around and it's a great bag um one of my buddies meant, said that this bag is magic and yeah it is kind of magic that it could do everything all at once uh some some notes that that i wish they would do is maybe not so many straps um get get rid of this hip strap here, I, I hate this hip strap. I really, really don't like it. Uh, get rid of those hip straps, get like removable hip straps. Maybe some of the expansion could be done uh, via a zipper that kind of helps expand it out a little bit. That would be also uh, super helpful. And really, I mean, those are the, that's really the, the big things, you know, kind of like reduce the strappage and maybe rethink of ways of expanding this out. But great bag and actually you know what before i go what i'll do is let me put it on and you guys could see it on me so i see so so much straps so much straps okay there you see and i i like i like my bags high and tight so i could do that with this so it looks pretty good. I mean, would I take this into like an office at work? Probably not. Um, I don't think the aesthetics is for that, but traveling, everyday carry to grocery stores or whatever out and about in the town, it's, uh, it's good. So this is the ATD1 from Attitude Supplies. Guys, look, give it a look. You're, you'd also be supporting a, a small company. Attitude Supplies is a small guy, is a small company. Uh, Michelle Fasano, super cool guy. Uh, I've talked to him a few times about about bags and this bag in particular. I know that he one bag travels uh, often, and I'm a one bag traveler, and I've used this bag to travel uh, just with this alone. Um, normally, what I've done though is I have taken a sling with me, maybe when I didn't need something so big, but uh, this is a one bag travel bag for sure. So, guys, give it a look. If you have any questions any concerns, uh, feel free to, to send me a comment. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell uh, too. Uh, I'm trying to up and come, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to do more, more videos. Um, the next one I'll probably be doing is a quick overview of the brand new Goruk GR1 Heritage that just came out um, a couple weeks ago. And I, I got the dark oak version, so I'll be talking about that. So I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.